Welcome, I'm Rose Utley, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious mango pineapple chicken. Let's get started. For your salsa, you're gonna to need to chop and dice one quarter of a red onion. Red onions are great in salads and salsas. They're mild and sweet and have a crispy texture. You wanna add your onions into a bowl. Next, you'll need a small piece of a yellow bell pepper. So as you know, bell peppers come in a rainbow of colors. The variety and amount of time a pepper spends on the plant determines its color and ripeness. So as bell peppers ripen, they turn different colors and they get sweeter. Green peppers are slightly bitter while the yellow and red are sweet. So during the pandemic, my husband and I started a vegetable and fruit garden. We were growing all kinds of stuff. I had watermelons, pumpkins, veggies, herbs, you name it. As a matter of fact, I have a video on my channel you could actually go and watch where I show all the stuff that I was growing. Now, I'm not going to say it was easy because, guys, it really wasn't. It is a lot of work. Now, this year, I decided to take a break, so I'm really not growing anything, although my husband is growing just a few things out there. I'm also going to chop and dice a piece of red bell pepper. Here I have a small can of pineapple tidbits. I'm going to add one third cup into my bowl, but you can add more if you'd like. Now for the good stuff. We're going to cut and dice a whole mango. Now mango is actually one of my favorite fruits. I love mangoes and I love watermelon. What's your favorite fruit by the way? Let me know in the comments below. If for some reason you don't like mangoes, I feel sad for you. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like mangoes, you can always just substitute it with maybe more yellow uh, bell peppers or you can just add a little extra pineapple. Now you can't have salsa without cilantro. So we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro and it's gonna add a nice little flavor to it. You'll also need a small to medium sized jalapeno. This one is actually from my garden. First, I'm gonna cut the stem off and then I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm really only gonna use half of the jalapeno. Although if you like, you can use the whole thing. Now I don't particularly like my uh, salsas very hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and deseed mine. If you wear contacts, I recommend that you use gloves or even a Ziploc bag, just so that you don't burn your eyes afterwards. We're gonna go ahead and cut this into small strips and then tiny pieces. And by the way, the salsa isn't hot at all. It just adds a little bit of extra flavor. Unless you want it hot, then go ahead and put the seeds in there. You're gonna need one lime. Now make sure you roll it. It'll release its juices and it'll be easier to squeeze. Using my lemon squeezer, I'm gonna squeeze in a whole lime. Let's go ahead and give this a mix. And as you can see, it's very colorful. It's light, fresh, perfect for the summer, or really any time of the year. Oh, and by the way, you can also eat this with chips. Mmm, so good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt, which is also gonna help with the sweetness in the fruit. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pepper, not much. Now I'm gonna cover it up and set it in my fridge temporarily. For our protein, I'm using thinly sliced chicken breasts, which will also cook a little faster. Now I have already uh, rinsed these and patted them dry with a paper towel. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I like to use a brush to evenly spread it on my chicken. Now this will also kind of help the spices adhere a little better. For our spices, we're gonna start with a little bit of salt and pepper. I like using kosher salt, but you can use any type of salt you have. Now we're gonna go in with some Italian seasoning. And by the way, we're gonna be adding the same type of seasoning to the other side. In the meantime, I would love to hear from you, so smash that like button and leave me a comment with your name and where you're from, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in my next video. Today for my chicken, I'm using this grill pan. Now there's different ways you can cook your chicken. You could either grill it outside on your grill, you could even cook it on your air fryer, or you could just use a skillet. All right, so to start, you wanna get your pan really nice and hot. 
Then you want to add a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you prefer. Two tablespoons are just enough to coat your pan. Now this pan, by the way, you can find in the description section of this video. I will post a link. I'll also post a link to my Amazon storefront where you'll find a lot of my kitchen items and just favorites in general. So be sure to check it out. So once you get your pan nice and hot, just like you, mm -hmm, I'm talking to you. Oh, I see that smile. Work it. <laughs> All right, out of your chicken. Now make sure you don't overcrowd it. If you have to, cook it in batches. All right, we're going to let it cook for about four to five minutes on one side, so don't flip it right away. Once you start seeing white around the edge start to rise up, and I'll show you what I mean in just a bit, then we want to go ahead and start flipping it. All right, so see this raised all the way up? This is what I mean. Let's go ahead and flip them over. You want to continue cooking these for five minutes on this side or until your internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. And by the way, I've been cooking them at medium high heat at about a number seven on my stove. After about four minutes, I think I'm going to flip them over just one more time and let them continue cooking for another minute on the other side. All right, and once they're done, if you're like me, I always get fresh tongs or just wash the ones I have. I don't like my other ones touching my cooked food. I'm gonna put these on a plate temporarily. Now, once you remove them from your pan, you wanna make sure that you allow them to rest for at least five minutes. This is gonna let the juices redistribute and help lock in the juicy flavors. I have already plated. it. As you can see, I went ahead and added some roasted potatoes, but you could also make it on a bit of white rice with some veggies. Now we're ready to add our fresh, savory, and sweet salsa. Mmm, I can already taste it. Now you know I gotta give this a try. It's ready. Mmm. This is so good. I love this salsa. Mmm. So delicious, guys. I really hope you give this a try. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the site. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the site. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.